Hi everybody. I just learned that a teenager in Texas, USA, has made a bad joke on the internet. And for this joke, he has been held imprisoned for over five months without any chance of getting out of bail and without getting any trial either. He will get a trial eventually for making this joke on the internet. And if he is convicted, he might be held in prison for 10 years. Now you might think, and I think some of the people who watch this video will think that ah, you say a teenager, but you do mean a young Muslim, right? Actually, no. This guy is white, and if he had been an atheist or a Muslim, we would have known about it by now. So, no, he's in all certainty a Christian. And that's probably why we know about this case at all. I mean, people getting imprisoned for such ludicrous reasons, that is horrible. The law need to change and how society view things really need to change. But this is not something new really. It's rather unusual that a random white kid gets locked up like this. But we had the case here in Sweden just a bunch of months ago. The police stormed in. Uh, arrested the Muslim family because they had heard some rumor and it didn't check out at all. <clears throat> of course the police in Sweden and Texas, USA and elsewhere should check rumors and in this case I mean the bad joke was about killing some random children and eating the heart of one of them. Really bad thing to say. Uh, I am totally in favor of arresting the kid and having a psychiatric evaluation of him, but having him locked up for more than one week over this without chance of getting out on bail even? Not okay. Five months without trial, most of it being in solitary confinement, or some of it being in solitary confinement, held naked. Uh, what the fuck you say? One can start wondering, is the government the real terrorists doing things like this to people? And with PRISM and all the other stuff, life can keep getting more random. I mean, everything we say is being recorded by the government, pretty much, and something can be ripped out of context and made a huge deal of. I was in this awful debate just a few days ago, luckily not uh, with the government, just with some online zealots. They were furious about a certain book, they thought it had very bad values, so we must condemn the author. And it was very much held against me that I didn't hate the man who wrote this book. Uh, the book I'm talking about is The Gospel of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. It's a totally absurd book and they had ripped some lines out of context and taken it seriously or taken it as the kind of joke where the person who writes it actually agrees with it. Come on. The same thing could happen to me or anyone else who write on the internet or elsewhere. People rip something out of context, make a big deal about it, um, either get it wrong entirely or blow it out of proportion. And to an extent, that's okay. That can be a good way to start a discussion, 
that have a chance to getting more nuanced over time. But when people bring out the torches and pitchforks, especially if the government brings out the torches and pitchforks and start locking, locking people up, and once you've locked them up, you can't release them because then you admit that you have made a mistake. So we, mm, I was going to say that we have a developing, developing industry of ruining people's lives just because. Saying that we have that, it's taking a bit too far, but this is something to be really worried about on a general level. Anyway, I'll link a few articles about this specific case in the low bar. And I'm going to try to follow the case a bit and uh, please uh, give me feedback if you have any information, thoughts, comments, whatever. And when I say that, I don't mean only on this particular case. I mean on any case of this kind, regardless of the victim's gender, skin color, religion, sexual orientation, or whatever. Justin Carter, as this particular kid is named, is most likely the victim of a government witch hunt that has gone entirely out of hand. I can't say that for sure, I only know what these articles in the media have told me, but it seems very likely. But this is far from the only case, and one of the points I've tried to make here is that people tend to overlook these cases when the victim isn't white and isn't Christian and so on. And all humans have the same value and the same right to basic rights and dignity. So I wish Justin Carter and all the other victims of ridiculous witch hunts all the luck in the world. And that's all I have to say for now. Live long and prosper.